Now, as you can see guys, I've been spending money. Yes, it is time. So, let's just knock this off. Very nice, very nice. So, as you can tell, I have been spending a little bit of money. Just get this shameless Bod product plug out of the way. But no, that's purely there because I bought that as well. So, all of this was from Skyvac. Have they paid me? No. Do they know I'm doing it? No. Are they going to appreciate it? Probably not. But they're a nice company and they're good. And at the end of the day, we all help each other out to some degree. So, this was bought from Spinner Clean. This is a Champion branded uh, unit. I think you can get it from Screwfix. I think you can get it from other places if you needed to or stores. I bought mine direct from Spinner Clean because one, it was a good price, and two, all of my stuff, so my other vax, it's all Spinner Clean. It's what I like using. It's what I have cut my teeth in. I know this sort of brand. I've never had problems with the problems I've had, which were minor, but Spinner Clean sorted out straight away. So. In a way, that's what I'm saying, we all help each other, you know. I'd rather buy from them, and then they know I bought from them. So basically, this has got a three-year warranty. So any problems, send it back to Spinner Clean. So what do you get for your hard-earned British pounds that you'll spend on this? Well, you get the unit itself. You get a shiwi style funnel, which I've used already. You get a cardboard box and a free pallet and then in that cardboard box you get an accessory kit and all that stuff goes straight onto the unit so in that box is the wheels the funnel the the fob is clipped to the side i'll show you that now so this lives here so that is brilliant there's a lot more features on this that sprung for me than other manufacturers and I'll explain. So this is rated for the machine. This is what Spinner Clean says is happy to run that machine. They're happy to sell it. So therefore they're happy to back it up. So if heaven forbid the generator was the problem with that machine, then well it's done for you know Spinner Clean, come on. So it's sorted, it's fine. It's got a three year warranty. I've dealt with Spinner Clean. I know you know, hand on heart, if there's any problems, they will sort it out. Uh, other features, it's got the wireless key start. Uh, so I'll just unclip that. I'm not very good with the left hand. So it's nice and straightforward. So yeah, it starts off. I won't run it too much, but you can get a, a sort of feel. So, you just knock it off. So, it's got wireless key start. Now, admittedly, I like my Honda stuff. I think all the big stuff's got Honda on it. I'd love to have, you know, this with a Honda engine, but it doesn't. But, it's got a three year warranty. Also, this, it's for me, is worth it alone because. I can start this from another side of someone's property. If there's a problem or a customer comes out, I can knock that straight off, you know, so any sort of safety fit, anything that involves me, you know, it's, you know, it's taken into account. It's also got other little, it's got a lot on it. So it's got, it's all electronic. Is that a good thing? I don't know. Uh, but other generators are a massive lump. This is quite light, I can pick it up. So it's got the power what I need it for my machine. It's got the wheels, it's got the little dingus handle thing. Another thing is the charger that comes with the battery. So the battery on this is just down there. It's got this style of charger. Now, some people might want a wall style one, but for me, I'm gonna forget to charge that. <laughs> Uh, or over winter I'm gonna forget or at some point I'm gonna forget I'm not gonna use this all the time so for me I can take that out plug it in and I can have it trickle charging in my van as I'm going about so I don't know if that's good for it to be trickle charged for ages but you know 
we'll voltage test it and see what it needs to be at presumably 12 volts or 13 point summit who knows but this is easy for me this is straightforward for me so that's what i like about it so there's not many videos about this uh, especially rating with the spinner clean stuff so i thought i would just do a video on it as well so before i fire it up in there i'll just go through again why have i bought it so i told you the product reasons like the wireless start and it's nice and compact and it's relatively quiet uh but another reason is now you don't need this to start gutter clearing i have done three years where i have plugged into a customer's supplies with zero problems even the big boy in there the industrial never been a problem so but now i'm having it where there's more jobs coming in and i'm finding that actually i'm having to rely on a customer being being in to get power there's been a couple of times where the, even though they're fine it's you feel like a bit cheeky asking for power if you get what i mean now i run a gardening business and i pry i never you know need anything off customers i've got cordless batteries i always you know i never have to ask for electric or power or anything like that but at the same time, no customer has ever said, no, Sam, you know, you should bring home power. But there's jobs now where I'm coming in that I can come and do that job. I don't need a customer to be there. So therefore, I can fit more in a day. Also, there's commercial jobs that I do. I've got a few coming up where it's going to be problematic to get the power, especially on a big site. I've only got, I think I've got a 25 metre or 50 metre extension cord so i can't be pacing around with them and at the same time if there's i don't know the layout of the building i don't want to be traipsing through looking for plugs and hanging them out of windows you know this is this is the answer as i see it basically uh, another reason is i've got another job coming up actually where there's no power to the property at all it's a, an empty property there's no power the power's been isolated uh, i don't want to switch it on in case you know because it's a really old house so this again is another option for me so installation sorry and so setting it up couldn't be easier you put the handle on you put the wheels on straightforward the caps go on the only thing that might cut but again it's in the instructions there's a, a battery cable there like a block you put that on the fuel thing is somewhere i think it's there a little thing you put that down you put it tells you on what fuel to put in what oil to put in it's just straight petrol it tells you what oil to put in it tells you how much oil and it tells you it gives you a picture even on the thing actually which i think is pretty cool where it shows you what sort of the oil should look like within the unit itself so it is really straightforward uh, i found it straightforward um, i wouldn't class myself as a an engine guru so what we'll do is we'll get it flashed up and then I'll just show it running the uh, actual unit or the actual machinery that I've got. So let me get it started. So I'll show you inside first. Now, quick disclaimer, the extension cord, I'm only going to be running these. That's good. I'm only going to be running these and the lighting's not good in here, so I apologise, there's no lighting. I'm only going to be running these for like literally 10 seconds just to show you. The cables on these should always be always unraveled all the way because they do get hot, but it's only 10 seconds. So let me just flash the old girl up now. So yeah, nice and straightforward. So this is the little atom. So you can hear it picking revs up. Nice and straightforward. So let me just knock that off. And then the revs go back down so let me get the other one plugged in so she's plugged in again should be all on gone but it isn't it's just a test now they said it's spinner clean uh, if you can't hear this i'll replay this after you don't just waz them all on at the same time <coughs> and it's not it doesn't do the machine good so you start with the middle So there, 
going back to farm. Right there. So, yeah, I don't know how much of that you heard. Right. So, when you're using a Jenny, you don't want to waz all three motors on at the same time. Even if you're plugged in, you want to do each one, you know. Give it a little bit of time to ramp up, you know, I'm not talking minutes, it's like five, whatever, so, you know, a little bit of time in each. But as you can hear, it does pick up, it does pick up the revs a lot. It is noisy, but it's a case-by-case -case usage here. Come on. If I'm working next to an old folks' home, you know, and I can ask for power, I'm not going to use a generator. If I'm in an industrial unit, I will use that bad boy. So, uh, that's it. So, while I'm here, this little beauty, I prefer to this big boy. Now, this is good, but 90% of the jobs I do, I have sorted with that. There's been a few jobs where this is coming good, but this itself. Now, which one would you buy? Up to you. But this is good. This is better. But this gets more use because it's nice and light. It's simple. You can hear the generator. The generator hardly has to work for it. It's nice and simple. It is. So that is a quick look at the Skyvac or the Champion generator. Overall, I'm happy. I've not used it yet for a job, but I'll probably take you along when I use it for the first job. I can't speak of the longevity. I have looked at the reviews and the reviews are positive, genuinely across all the sites I looked at. Uh, it's got a three year warranty. So if there is any problems, then it is spinner cleans, basically problem to sort out. Um, as I said at the start, I'm not affiliated with spinner clean sky Club. I just like what they sell. They've always been very helpful and I trust that they always will be helpful. So, I can't really say any more on it, but I hope this video helps. Have a good day, guys.